Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today we're filming a little bit later than normal, so I decided to open myself up a monster. Oh! Mmm, delicious! for all these Tobies now. Uh, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with all of them. I guess I just have to go on with my normal life. <sighs> Man, I'm getting hungry. How about you guys? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not midnight yet. I'm gonna go get us some food. <sighs> Woo! Here you go, guys. <laughs> Oh my god! You guys were hungry! Well guys, uh, I'm going to bed. Sleep well. Mm, what a great day! Oh, I can't imagine anything going wrong today. Oh my god! this later. It's time to make some crafts. some cheap Halloween masks from Spirit Halloween. But before we do that, I wanna talk about these shirts. The Halloween season is almost at an end and I'm gonna be taking these shirts down. So after Halloween, I'm no longer gonna be selling them until next year, maybe. So uh, get them while you can. Anyway, let's get into repainting some of these masks. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with Mr. Marshmallow here. And the best part about this one, it says try me, does this not glow? No, I destroyed it. I messed up. Oh, I just have to unplug that. Here it is. It's glowing, trust me. Just not very bright. It was brighter before for some reason, but now it's not very bright. Anyway, this one also glows. First step I'm gonna do, as always, take this guy off. <laughs> Don't need that anymore. And then I'm gonna take this bad boy off, that way I'm not swinging it around. Then I'm gonna take some masking tape and mask off his eye holes. The masking is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing when painting. Because if you don't mask it off correctly, you're gonna get paint everywhere. And it looks like we're all ready to paint. So I was looking at all the Spirit Halloween marshmallow masks. Whoa, this one's awesome. I should have gotten this one. They didn't have it in the store. I think it's full head too. What? This is awesome. This doesn't light up like that. I almost want to paint it like this now because that looks freaking sick. Anyway, I was looking at all the Spirit Halloween masks that they have and they don't have this mask for sale anywhere. And I've seen it all over Google search. But now I'm starting to have second thoughts on how I should paint this. I'm just going to go with my gut feeling and just go with this rainbow color actually. Should I? I don't even know. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go with this one. So we got it all masked off and uh, dang, I should have actually sanded this down first. So I guess that's actually gonna be the next step. I can't paint yet. The inspo. Because I regret not buying this one. I could even add little lights in here afterwards too. You never know. I, I, I'm pretty crafty. Anyway, I'm just gonna get to this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now I'm gonna start adding some pink. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So admittedly, mine does not look nearly as clean as the one at Spirit Halloween. But you know what? I'm gonna let the paint dry a little bit because it keeps blending in and making this pink into more of a purple. So off to the drawing you go. One 
eternity later. Now that this guy's dry, I'm gonna go in and uh, lighten up this blue a little bit because I kind of want it to pop, you know? You know, I tried, okay? I do like the pink eyes, that looks cool. Maybe it'll look better when it fully dries and fully cures, but you know, that's not bad. I might have to just go in later and just kind of clean up the paint with like, I don't even know. I don't know what I need to do here. Okay guys, so I'm not really getting the kind of blue that I want, so I'm actually gonna go in with this acrylic paint instead and kind of just dab it all over. Honestly, I have no idea what direction I'm going at this point. Put a bunch of blood splatter on him. Okay, now I have to let this sit and dry for a little bit. It is completely just covered in paint. It definitely looks a lot cooler in my opinion. I'm excited to see how it looks without the tape in the eyes. Meanwhile. Oh my gosh, guys, look at underneath. Oh wow. We gotta just get in there and just clean that up. Just so you guys can fully appreciate this. Put it on a white background. Yes, looks pretty nice. Now we're gonna take the tape off. Paint is still a little bit wet, but you know, it's okay. Oh no, I got paint on it. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Regardless, it looks really cool. Well, let's try it on, shall we? Boobity boo. Wow, I'm actually impressed with this. This looks really sick. It came with like a head strap thing, I guess, but I don't know how it's supposed to stay on. Uh, I think I'm missing part of it. I turned on the lights. It has different modes. You can't even, here, let me turn this off. It's cool, I guess. They need to make the masks lighter, in my opinion. But you know what? I think I did a pretty good job on this. I wish I could attach it to my head so I could dance around with it. So I guess I'm just gonna have to hold it the entire time. That's lame. I don't wanna hold it the whole time. I just need string or something. Tape. I'll use tape. There we go. I made a head strap out of bright green tape. It almost goes with it. Aha! Okay, let's do our dance. So this is the original, and this is mine. What do you think, did I do a good job? I think I did a good job repainting it. So I'm gonna have to say that this one was a success. Down in the comments down below, let me know. Do you guys like marshmallows? Do you like my mask? Should I make more mask videos? If you guys want more mask videos, leave a like. That way I know you guys want more mask videos, okay? Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Okay guys, so here's our alien boy. I filled him with uh, some plastic bags. That way it would stay kind of sturdy. Now, normal aliens, <laughs> sorry. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to say there are such a thing as normal aliens. Um, but how people usually perceive aliens, they are actually green. So I think I'm going to paint this guy to be green. Maybe give him some cool galaxy forehead stuff. You know, just really get in there and just. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, right? So let's just uh, let's just jump in and start painting this bad boy green. Normally I would put a base coat, but you know what? <laughs> I'm feeling confident. Okay, so this guy turned out pretty green. Now I'm gonna go in and kind of add like uh, some blue veins on the side of his head. So I'm gonna go in and be very, very careful here. Now I'm gonna tape off his eyes so they don't get paint all over what I just painted. I'm gonna make these eyes white just to kind of give it like a base layer. Now I'm gonna attempt to try and make these eyes into a galaxy. I just want a galaxy in his eyes. Yes. Add a little bit of blue and then you Using this technique that I learned from my friend Cassandra, uh, you guys can check out that video right here. We basically paint a bunch of like prosthetic makeup and it looks really cool. But anyway, what she does is she gets the paintbrush and she cuts it like that. And then she gets the paint and just kind of does this with it. I ended up getting some on the alien, but it's okay. I'll touch that up afterwards. Now I'm gonna go in with some white. Oh, that was way too much. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we carefully peel back the eyes. And it turned out much cleaner than I had hoped. It actually kind of looks like a little galaxy. Mission failed successfully. And just to kind of go with the blood theme, I'm gonna give this guy some blood splatter as well. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about that, but I mean, it makes it look pretty cool still. Well, uh, let's try this bad boy on. Ooh, spooky. I gotta take all the bags out. Oh yes, what a fine looking specimen. Try to put this guy on my head. Yeah! Oh my gosh, it's so loud in here. I think I did a pretty decent job on the alien. So this is what it looked like originally, and this is what it looked like now. What do you think? 
Did I make it look pretty different? I think I did a good job, right? Tell the comments down below, tell me, do you guys believe in aliens? After 2021, I believe in anything now, honestly. Also, let me know what you guys think about this mask. I think going green was a good call. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Let's come to this part right down there. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. If you guys wanna watch me, if you guys wanna watch me repaint even more masks, I have an entire playlist where I do this. This is actually like my sixth one. Also, I started uploading on Robbie Vlogs, so make sure to hit that subscribe button on the vlogs. Robbie Clips as well, we've been uploading all month. We have an entire back catalog, so subscribe to Robbie Clips as well. Okay guys, love you so much, I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready? Okay, bye!